a very good morning my dear family members dear friends please like share and subscribe dear friends as the month of june is dedicated to the sacred heart of jesus let us pray it daily prayer to the sacred heart of jesus o most holy heart of jesus a fountain of every blessing i adore you i love you and with lively sorrow for my sins i offer you this poor heart of mine make me humble patient pure and holy obedient to your will grant good jesus that i may live in you and for you protect me in the midst of danger amen my dear friends by clicking the like share and subscribe buttons we proclaim praise worship and glorify the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit i pray that the triune god will embrace the entire world peace joy and healing may be felt by everyone today's catholic mass readings and reflections june 2 2023 friday of the eighth week in ordinary time first reading a reading from the book of sirach chapter 44 verses 1 and 9 to 13 so let us now give praise to godly men our ancestors of generations past there are others who are not remembered as if they had never lived they died and were forgotten they and their children after them but we will praise these godly men whose righteous deeds have never been forgotten their wealth remains in their families their heritage with their descendants their descendants continue to keep the covenant and always will because of what their ancestors did their family line will go on forever and their fame will never fade the word of the lord thanks be to god response real psalm your response the lord takes delight in his people sing to the lord a new song or praise in the assembly of the faithful Let Israel be glad in their maker let the children of Zion rejoice in their king your response the lord takes delight in his people let them praise his name in the festive dance let them sing praise to him with the timbrel and harp for the lord loves his people and he adorns the lowly with victory your response the lord takes delight in his people let the faithful exult in glory let them sing for joy upon their couches let the high praises of god be in their thoughts this is the glory of all his faithful alleluia your response the lord takes delight in his people the acclamation alleluia alleluia i choose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last says the lord alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to mark chapter 11 verses 11 to 26 jesus entered jerusalem went into the temple and looked round at everything but since it was already late in the day he went out to bethany with the 12 disciples the next day as they were coming back from bethany jesus was hungry he saw in the distance a fig tree covered with leaves so he went to see if he could find any figs on it but when he came to it he found only leaves because it was not the right time for figs jesus said to the fig tree no one shall ever eat figs from you again 
and his disciples heard him. When they arrived in Jerusalem, Jesus went to the temple and began to drive out all those who were buying and selling. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the stools of those who sold pigeons. He did not permit anyone to carry anything through the temple area. Then he taught them, saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples? But you have made it a den of thieves. The chief priests and the scribes came to hear of it and were seeking a way to put him to death. Yet they feared him because the whole crowd was astonished at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. Early in the morning, as they were walking along, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them in reply, Have faith in God. Amen. I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. For this reason, I tell you, when you pray and ask for something, believe that you have received it. And you will be given whatever you ask for. And when you stand and pray, forgive anything you may have against anyone. So that your Father in heaven will forgive the wrongs you have done. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Why did Jesus curse a fig tree in today's gospel? Fig trees were a common and important source of food for the Jews. Bad figs or a decaying fig tree were linked with the evil deeds and spiritual decay. The unfruitful fig tree symbolized the outcome of Israel's unresponsiveness to the word of God. The prophets depicted the languishing fig tree as signifying the desolation and calamity of Israel due to her unfaithfulness to God. The history of Israel is one long preparation for the coming of the promised one. But the promise is unfulfilled in those who reject Jesus through unbelief. Jesus' cursing of a fig tree is a prophetic action against the faithlessness of those who rejected his message. For faith to be fruitful and productive, it must be nourished with the word of God and be rooted in love. Jesus' cleansing of the temple was another prophetic action. In this incident, we see Jesus' startling and swift action in cleansing the temple of those who were using it to exploit the worshippers of God. The money changers took advantage of the poor and forced them to pay many times more than was right in the house of the Lord, no less. The robbery of the poor was dishonoring to God and unjust toward their neighbor. In justification for his audacious action, Jesus quotes from the prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah. His act of judgment aims to purify the worship of God's people and to discipline their erring ways. 
After this incident, Jesus exhorts his disciples to have faith in God. They are to pray with expectant faith, no matter how difficult the situation. The phrase to remove mountains was a common Jewish expression for removing difficulties. A wise teacher who could solve problems was called a mountain remover. If we pray with faith, God will give us the means to overcome difficulties and obstacles. If we want God to hear our prayers, we must forgive those who wrong us as God has forgiven us. Let us pray. Lord of heaven and earth, I thank you for all the blessings and graces you have bestowed upon me and my family of Mother Mary's protection. Lord, increase our faith, faith that will take us to hope and healing. We surrender all our weaknesses, difficulties and challenges to you. Help us that we may be rooted in the word of God and be fruitful in your service. We ask all these things through the intercession of Mary, the mother of Jesus, and in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.